What's up everybody? Today this video I'm going to show you the kind of things you got to do to catch big fish from the bank. Um, as you can see here, I'm walking through the woods. I'm going deep into the woods down this path. Um, it actually has access to a dock that's deep in the woods. It's run down. Not many people can get to it uh, or want to get to it. Um, you know, so it, it's by some deeper water. So <clears throat> that's the number one secret. You have to go to places that other people won't. You got to walk through those woods. You got to walk through that brush. You got to drive out further. You got to, you got to do the stuff that other people don't. That's how you get the bigger fish. If you go to a place that people are at constantly, you, you know, you drive by, you see a place no. You see people, you know, just sitting there fishing all the time. You're always walking by, seeing people fishing, you know, that that place is going to be pressured. Now, what that does over time is the, the fish aren't dumb. You know, they're they're going to catch on to that. They're going to see, you know, that they're getting caught, you know, they they do remember these things. Um and they're going to move to deeper water. They're going to move to the next break, which more than likely might be out of reach of where you can cast to from the shore. You know, this is very difficult from the bank to do. Um, but as you can see here, I walked, I walked a fairly far amount. I just took a few clips, you know, and I was actually quite impressed because I got out here. Someone had walked a, a nice little a boat down and had it chained to a tree. I was like, man, that must have taken hours to walk it back there. Um, I was pretty far back, took about 15 minutes. But see, I get to this nice open water, nice lily pads. This is an old dock. Um, at the end of the dock, there's actually part of it that's broken off. It, it is it is that old. Um, <laughs> maybe back in the day people used this, but... I've never really seen anyone out on this dock. I've seen people fish from the shore where the cars drive by now and then, but see that you can see the pillars there at the end, you know, where the dock used to extend out even further, but it's broken off. You know, people aren't going to this spot. It, it is an old spot. It's deep in the woods. People aren't going to make that journey, you know, and simply you, you got to want it more. If you, if you want it, you have to go get it. It's there. You have to put the work in to get it. You know, if you want to catch these big fish, it, it simply isn't just going to happen overnight. You got to put the time in. You got to find the spots to go to. You know, sometimes they're very inconvenient. In fact, I would say the majority of times it's inconvenient. So as you can see here, um, <laughs> I just laid out this little Ned rig out. You know, I'm from the shore. I'm, I'm from the bank. And I'm just lifting it up, you know, I'm I'm out here, you know, I'm not in the water, I'm not on a kayak, I'm not on a boat, I'm not out there, but I'm I'm from the bank, where it's it can be hard to catch big fish from the bank, it's a lot more challenging. When you're on a boat or a kayak, you can cover water, you can go all over, you can find where those fish are, and then if you got a fish finder or live scope on top of it, man, it gets even easier. So I'm I'm out here, you know, I walked it and did this long journey. I'm out here, first cast with a Ned ring. I'm bouncing it off the bottom. And um I actually hook up with a fish. It's pretty cool. It's a it's a prime example, you know, of when you get out there and you, you find these spots, what you can do. But yeah, look at that. This is a medium light bass rod. And uh I know there's a little bit of bend to it, but this this bend was huge. And this fish was fighting good. You know, I'm in Michigan um, where a trophy bass, a, a six-pound, seven-pound bass, that's a trophy bass here in Michigan. You know, but I get this guy in, you know, he, he was fighting good. When I, I landed him, I got like 14-pound braid, and uh, I use a, a monofilament leader, you know, just like a few feet. But, but yeah, look at the mouth on this guy. I got him, you know, just got to pop that hook out just like that. And yeah, that's a good bass. That's a, that was a good two and a half, three pounder from the bank, you know, after only being out here for maybe 10 minutes, you know, what a great experience. 
But you see that. Yeah, look at that guy. He, man, that so much fun. Just, just remember how happy I was catching that guy. But, you know, I didn't stay out long. I just stayed out for maybe twenty minutes. You know, I had to go to work. You know, I just had a quick stop. I spent the majority of my time traveling to this destination. So, but yeah, look, I was so, you know, amazed by that boat, you know, someone had brought it out there and chained and locked it to a tree. I'm like, man, that's dedication. That's the kind of stuff you got to do to catch the big fish. So, you know, it was quite the journey out there, but yeah, you gotta, you gotta travel. You gotta make it happen. You like, there might be spots <clears throat> that you can walk through tree lines, stuff like that, you know, deer runs. Deer runs the you know the the animals they they have to drink water they they travel to the water there might be little paths you can walk down you know you just you gotta do this kind of stuff if you want to catch big fish from the bank it's a challenge already but you put the time and the effort in you'll be catching big fish in no time so that that's my tip to you you know I do appreciate you you listening student staying tuned with me um. You know, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every every single one of you guys. You know, I wouldn't be doing this without you. you no, know, so, but if you like my kind of content, you know, I fish from the bank. I fish from the kayak. You know, I get out there. I have a fish finder I use too. I love to bass fish, crappie fish. Give me a follow. All right, thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>